Daya. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. Hey, how about you? Doing great. Hey, thanks for joining us uh, here on Next Gen TV. Uh, this is really, really, really a big deal to have you here uh, because you are our very first student athlete that we'll be interviewing. Uh, wow. So that's how special we think that you are. Uh, wow. No, no, no shade to any of the other athletes that we feature, but we definitely wanted to make sure that we got you up here with us. So not only that people can see, you know, who you are on the court, but get to know a little bit about who you are off the court. All right. All right. Yep. So, so, so thank you so much for giving the time. Now we came to see you and your AAU team. You play for the West Side Elite Purple, right? Yep. The high school. Uh, you had an amazing game. That game you had 41 points. You guys end up ended up pulling off the win. Uh, and that was awesome, man. That was it was it was really something I'm like, man, she's getting it. And then we found out you were eighth grader. We we're like, oh, definitely, she's gonna be a name to remember us Nia Hall. Uh, but you had a lot of success before your AAU season. Uh, you play middle school ball uh, on yeah. the eighth grade team with Amherst Middle School. Why don't you tell me a little bit of how that season went? Um, that season was a really fun season. You know, I got to spend time with my teammates. We had so much fun throughout the season, 17 and 0. Um, it was just a journey and it was a great adventure to spend time with them, you know? Exactly. Now, 17 and 0, I'm guessing that means that you guys won the conference championship? Yep. Yeah, okay. Awesome. The awesome. That's a, what 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 conference? Do you remember the name of the conference? Um I think it was SWC. Yeah, SWC. Yep, SWC uh conference. So uh congratulations to the Amherst Little School you. Your squad. Uh, you averaged, I think, around 20 points per game. You had like nine assists per game, 10 plus rebounds, almost a triple double. Uh that's huge for a middle school season. Put up big numbers. Uh definitely a uh, special uh Thing that you did there so keep that energy going now like I said that was your eighth grade season so next year you'll be playing high school ball you already started playing high with high schoolers right now on the AAU circuit what are you looking forward to the most about playing high school ball next year you know you know just the the next level competition you know and being able to you know have a good relationship with my teammates and getting to know them more you know and you know, mostly competition too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because now, you know, you go from playing with, you know, 14 year olds, 13 year olds, and now you're playing upwards 17, 18, a lot more growth than your height. So uh, yeah. we're looking forward to following you over the next four years in high school because we think if you had a lot of success at the middle school level, we're definitely expecting you to have the same type of success at the high school level. Now, uh, when it comes to your success and, and what you're doing, who would you say are some of your biggest inspirations? Who inspires you when it comes to what you do? Honestly, my family, because they're always there for me. They always encourage me, you know, um, they help me whenever, you know, I'm doing something, you know, what to improve on, you know, they're just always there for me. So my family for sure. All right. And you come from a family of athletes. I think your dad, uh, was L.A. He was a, a Crenshaw basketball guy. Then he moved to Cleveland. He played high school yeah. ball. And your mom went to John Hay, right? I think your mom yep. John Hay was a baller. You know, shout out to the Hornets. And my parents went to John Hay, too. Uh, oh, wow. And then uh, I think that your sister, you have an older sister that plays sports as well, right? Yeah, I have two older sisters. One plays okay. volleyball and one used to do basketball. Right, right. So it's a lot of competition in the house with with, with all that talent around you. So uh, it makes sense that you, are you the youngest? Yeah, I'm the youngest. So uh, I'm the youngest too, so I know how that go. You being the <laughs> youngest, you get all the beat, you know, get beat up and everything and play yeah. with all the stupid. It makes sense that you got all this talent at such an early age. So uh, keep that energy going. Now, uh, basketball, I'm assuming that you're a big fan of NBA basketball, WNBA basketball. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, you can go. You can go. I was going to ask you. So, if just a scenario, hypothetical here, if you could play pickup basketball, right? You're playing three mm -hmm. on three, and you could pick one NBA player to be on your team, and then one WNBA player to be on your team, who do you think you would pick to have a three on three team playing against anybody that wants to step on the court with you? For NBA, I'm going to have to go with Kyrie Irving because of his skills and his IQ. 
you know, Kyrie is just a great basketball player in general. Um, for WNBA, I'm going to have to go with Candace Parker because right. she's my favorite and WNBA player. So Ooh, that's a crazy yeah. squad. That's a crazy squad. You got some guard <laughs> play. You got some big band play. I don't know if anybody can take y'all if y'all was going that in for the those three. That's a good bunch. That's what's up. Now, what would you say? I mean, obviously, you spent a lot of time on the court. But just to help people to understand that you're more than just a basketball player, what would you say is your favorite thing to do off the court? You know, spend time with family and friends. You know, I like to read, too. Um, but, yeah, mostly spend time with friends and family. All right, that's good. That's good. You uh, reading a book, maybe doing some, watching some movies, you know, playing some <laughs> games. That's good that you're a family person. Now, you said you like to read books, so I'm not going to make any assumptions, but I'm just going to ask. What would you say is your favorite subject in school? English language arts, ELA. Ah, okay. All right. Do you have a favorite book or a favorite genre of book or a favorite um, series? Not, not really, but, you know, I like to read all types of genres, so, okay. you know. That's cool. Now, I don't know if you like LeBron. Maybe maybe eventually you'd be like LeBron. LeBron likes to sit and read a book before a game. He, mm -hmm. you know, that was like a thing for a while. So maybe that might become a trend. You might start the trend of reading a book before you, you know, eat hey. the game. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. That's cool. Well, hey, thank you for sharing that information. Now, this is the part of the interview uh, that we do. We call it the Next Gen 10. Okay. So it's for the mm -hmm. Next Gen 10. So I'm going to ask you 10 questions. Kind of rapidly, but if you need to take your time and think about it for a second, go ahead uh, and, and think about it. But first thing that come to mind, give me that answer, okay, to these questions. You ready for the next Gen 10? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. All right, the first question. Before a game or a workout, what's one artist, musical artist, that you have to listen to to get you pumped up for the game? I got to go with Drake. I got to oh, go. Oh, Drizzy. <laughs> yes, bro, okay, I got to go with right. Drake. All right. Anything Drizzy? Any album? Any song? Is anything Drizzy, right? Yeah, man. His songs are just, this is like, he just has such good lyrics, you know? So I just got to go with Drake. That's what's up. Our right, question number two. If you could have any shoe, think about any shoe in the history of shoes that you would put on your feet to wear in the game, what's your grail in-game shoe? I'm going to say Mellow's. I'm gonna okay, a mellow. That's what's up. That's classic. A mellow. See, so, it, it, maybe you got that mellow, mellow mid game. If you got the mellows on, that's what's up. All right. Sure. Third question: Favorite pre or post game meal? What could you? What's your favorite thing to have either before a game or after a game? All right. So before, I don't really like to eat too much stuff. I don't want to have a full stomach when I'm on the court. So usually, I just drink water, you know, to have fluids in my system. You know, to stay hydrated too. Um, for after, I like my place Chipotle, man. You can't go wrong. Uh, I know it. I know it. You can't go what wrong. You, with you going with the bowl or you going with the burrito? Gotta go with the bowl and the chips, man. With the bowl and the chips. That's what's <laughs> up. That's what's up. All right. Uh, number four, one musical artist or actor or actress that you mm -hmm. think you can hoop with and that you would put on your team. What's one? Chris Chris Brown? Chris Brown. Chris, Chris Brown. Brown. You hoop with Chris Brown. That's what's up. I can say that's a nice pick. Some people say Quavo, but I, I go Chris yeah. Jack Harlow. All right. Number <laughs> five. What's one college arena or professional arena uh, that you would love to play in? For professional, I'm going to have to go with Los Angeles uh, arena. Okay. The Crip. The Crip. You want to play in the Crip. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Number six. Who would you say is the best athlete in your family? I'm have to go with my older sister, Nia. Okay. Um, she plays volleyball. She's really good at volleyball, so I'm going to have to go with her. Oh, man. Well, we're going to have to come and interview Nia next. We're going to have to get <laughs> your sister next. All right. Number seven, you could play any sport other than basketball. What sport would it be? Volleyball. That's my volleyball. second favorite sport, so okay. got to go with volleyball. Right. All right, volleyball, that's what's up. All right, next question. If you could speak any language as a second language and be fluent in it, what language would you want to speak? Honestly, I'm going to have to go with French because, oui, oui. yeah, <laughs> yeah, because French is a raw, is a wrong language. So. That's what's up. Number nine, favorite sports drink, or is it water? 
Mm, I'm going to have to go with green Gatorade. Green Gatorade. <laughs> oh, man, I ain't really hit to the green. I had the green flavor yet. <laughs> All right. And then last question. What's your favorite sports media outlet? You better say the right. That, that's what I'm Next talking about. Next generation. Yes, sir. You Next already gen. know. Next gen. Next gen. Hey, but I, it was, it was great having you with us. Thanks for being our first interview. We of hope course. that you continue to have success on the court and off the court, especially in the classroom. Uh, and mm-hmm. we're looking forward to continuing filming you and your team. And, and getting to know you over these next four years and into your college and professional career too. So thank you so much for the time. Uh, yeah, keep it course. going. All thank right, you. next Jedi, baby. Yes, thank sir. You.